did you know there are a total of 5.7 billion internet users in 2023 so far? That's 70% of the world's population. And there are a total of 720,000 hours of new video content being uploaded to YouTube every single day. Yep, crazy a lot, right? So the reason why I'm mentioning this is because there are some exciting news that I want to share after I attended the Malaysia ICT Summit 2023. Because while there are a lot of great technologies that's coming to Malaysia, I'm going to talk about the Ultra Broadband Backbone or UBB technology that is also coming really soon. Now, let's start with the technology that has been implemented already here in Malaysia. And this technology is called the OnePlus X Boosting New Growth. Represents a single network that combines Huawei's 5G, its Wi-Fi network and IoT network both on the hardware and the software services. Then the letter X represents unlimited possibilities which means that enterprises can expand their businesses to have different areas and unlimited opportunities for them to grow. And while this is called the new growth, the IoT technology like RFID is something that has been already been used here in Malaysia, specifically in the retail space, especially in Decathlon and Uniqlo in my town shopping center. So what happens is that once you're done with your shopping, you can place all the items in the checkout area and instead of scanning each item that you bought, it will use the RF signal connected to each item to determine the things that you've purchased. Cool, right? So how this works is by using the Wi-Fi access point device for Wi-Fi connection, which has a card slot for the RFID card. It then uses the RFID to detect the items accordingly. So this is definitely a faster way to shop compared to the old school method of scanning 20 pieces of clothing. 20 pieces of clothing? I hope you don't shop that much. Now, besides using this for retail clothing, I hope that this will be implemented in grocery stores and other food supply chains. Now, another example of this OnePlus X that has been introduced here in Malaysia yet could be very useful not only for industries but also small offices where alongside your 5G router, there'll be a specific device like the Udemon 1000 e-box which acts as a physical firewall to block the security threats from accessing the office network now additionally if you have any new digital threats or viruses that may come in the future the Xiang Kun cloud service automatically detects and addresses them now next during the ICT summit Huawei has emphasized enhancing our current broadband network so you might be wondering what are the differences between what has been out already with the current broadband and the ones that has just been announced well we are entering a giga home broadband era for a premium user experience my friend and what's coming soon to Malaysia and it is as soon as next month is the fiber to the room also known as FTTR now, FTTR has over 7 million subscribers worldwide and as the name implies, you'll receive fiber internet speeds in every room of your home. So if you opt for a 1 gigabit speed plan, expect that exact speed in every single room or space that you want. So this FTTR is split into two different scenarios or rooms as the rooms can be defined as rooms in your house or rooms in offices or business units where essentially it is using the same solution. Now, as for rooms in homes, a main or the master FTTR unit functions similar to a router or a modem where this unit connect to slave devices in each room using a standard home power plug. Now these devices are then linked with a high quality durable optical fiber cable. Now unlike the conventional yellow optic fiber cable, this one is transparent and way more reliable. Then there will also be an ATB unit for storing extra optical fiber cable accompanying each slave unit. Now this is very useful if there's any issues with the optical fiber cable so you don't need to plug the ATB unit as it uses a passive connection. Then there's also the splitter unit that acts as an extension to connect between rooms. Now this means is that you don't need to run a new optical fiber cable from the master FTTR to any additional room that you want to connect. Then for the second scenario is in a business setting where a POF or power over fiber cable is used. Now instead of plugging power in each slave FTTR unit in each room, this cable gets its power directly from the master FTTR. Now you'll still need to use the splitter unit to connect additional rooms, but in this setup, 
the slave FTTR operates as a passive unit. Now this revamped architecture not only guarantees you connection speed but also fosters a green and intelligent network where firstly it does lower power consumption for the FTTR aiming for carbon neutrality especially with the power over fiber cables. Then it being intelligent means that the days of needing technicians on site for troubleshooting will be behind us as the online system can identify any issues allowing for easy self troubleshooting whether or not you're on site or using the companion app. And this is also in line with the digital map technology that Huawei is looking to embrace more to avoid any unnecessary on-site visits since everything is monitored easily through its digital monitoring system. So this is surely an amazing way to look forward. So yes, these are all the exciting news indeed, especially with the services being announced here specifically in Malaysia. But usually these new technologies that I hear and see are usually when we travel to China or even in Thailand when I go to these conferences. So let me know your thoughts and would you personally get an FTTR when it comes to Malaysia?